a lot of bananas do not know this uh, matchup as well either because he's such an un. Popular, not like a popular, unorthodox character. Yeah, and he's not. You don't see a lot of him in the top play. I mean, we have Shina now is uh, popping up more. Um, Taeda, Taeda, uh, well, Mekos. There's like very few actually like top level who yeah. make it. Shout out to Earl. Let's go, Earl. So starting off with Smashville, starter Bill. Both characters I can see getting a lot from here. Obviously, you know, Bayna can do her bail things with the platform there. Luke is able to, you know, kind of do what Nest does a little bit with the uh, throws. So, which uh, I believe Aztec described this to me as having to get a lot of stage control and then baiting options out in the corner. So that way, which Luke is going to get hard punishes and rack up a lot of damage. But the risk for that is taking a ton of damage, as you just saw. I think it was like 60%. So going for the footstool there, but not eating the uh, DI properly. Up, up, and away. Really good SCI though. I think uh, Lucas has an easier time getting out because he's floating, you know? Or is it the other way around? Um, I'm not really 100% sure, but I mean, I, it, SCI is SCI, you know, you have to be good at it regardless to get out. Because the, the, obviously, like the bigger creatures like Bowser or Charizard, they all have a hard time getting out of it. But. <laughs> That's so. a clean stock, I have to say. Off stage pressure and uh, should just double side B. Honestly, lo started loving watching Tyro's Bayo because he's starting to get a lot more wackier combos. I mean, that's been not like just make your own combos, and if they work, you know, you're gonna get that solid, you know, 40-ish percent on them. Exactly. And possibly a stock too. Like I believe throughout that entire advantage state, he got like 40. Tyro's being so commanding here. I don't think he's taking a percent yet from this uh, second stock. No. Nope. Oh and my this is god. Probably stock. Yep. Ooh. So. That was a zero to death. Really? Yeah, that was a zero to that. Wow, good job. Tyler. I'm actually super surprised because uh, I know a lot of Veils will go for the like, down smash, which is a mix up with the up smash. That's pretty cute. Probably just didn't want to risk it. Yeah. So. Came on with a tie right? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a really quick slide. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, no, I think Aztec should be a lot less aggressive. Oh yeah, for sure. He's like, the, what was it? Two which times? So he's definitely throwing out too many options, and he's not waiting. Three, two, okay, so we have the run back. I think, yeah, I mean, I don't, Bayonet doesn't necessarily have a bad stage, but you know, you're not going to go to, probably going to ban FD, especially against Lucas, where Twisted combos are more prominent, especially with no platforms. Definitely. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's up to Aztec right now, just, I agree, like, just not throw as many, many hitboxes, um, try to bait out the witch time, if anything, and then try to capitalize on that. I think one thing that Tyro is really capitalizing on is he's taking stage control every time Aztec's giving it up, because, you know, Aztec's trying to backpedal the entire time. And then as soon as he gets aggressive, he's immediately punishing him for it. I was talking about like Tyroid's like how well he's like just being patient. Like he's not really doing anything until like he sees okay, Aztec just did this, okay, now I'm gonna do this. And they now just allows him to really do that. Yeah. Like that, like he just okay, he waited for the PK fire, got it and got the tomahawk grab, which is really smart. Oh there we go, so let's see how much damage. Oh. Nope. Uh -huh. There's a percent uh, threshold where he does fall out of that, or uh, each character falls out of it, and I, I definitely with Rage will pack that in. <laughs> okay. I know on floaties, uh, fast fall fair one and up smash is true. Yeah. So why do you think Tyro is forward throwing instead of up throwing? I mean, honestly, I don't know. He could just be, it could be anything. It could be like, oh, okay, I just kind of want to stay control here. I want to like, because Lucas, like, he does have two ways of recover, unlike Nas, who only has, you know, the one, but Lucas has the tether, and then the PK, uh, PK, and if you can kind of force out the PK, mm -hmm. you can go for like a which time and try to go something else with the alpha that. Okay. So it might be why he might be like, okay, if I can maybe get him off, he might panic up B instead of uh, do uh, the tether grab. If he does tether, he can read where uh, he does go. He can go for like a dare and just try to spike. Okay. This is a very commanding <laughs> set from Tyroid. Um. So I think Tyro is just focusing on baiting options out even more. I think after yeah. a while he was getting tired of like having so much trouble against Aztec and Lucas's. I mean, this is just super. I mean, I I can't see much what Aztec can do to kind of bring this back, but you know it is um Lucas. He does have some super cute things. Yeah. He does have the kill confirms of uh, what he's trying to do there down throw up air. Yeah. I don't know. This is like. So I know that that's actually a frame trap no matter what. Like yeah. unless even if you di out. And four throw. Oh. 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 Honestly, good. Yeah, I know. I always uh. do for Aztec. Uh. Honestly, good job to Tyroid, though. That was They're really both laughing good. it off, though. Yeah. Aztec's a, Aztec's a nice guy. 